Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see, I am going to be sorting out my boy group photo cards. It has been a while since I have done a sorting photo card video. As you can see, I have quite a big of stack. This one is in hyphen, this is TXT, and then this is all BTS. I just ended up being super busy and I just didn't. And then the following week, I ended up getting sick. As you can tell by my voice, I am still currently recovering, but I am now feeling better, so I need to put these photo cards away because it is taking up so much room and they just need to be sorted. So we are going to go ahead and get started with an hyphen because it's the smallest stack that I have out of the three. So here I have my Enhyphen binder. As you can tell, I did get a new binder. I ended up caving in and getting the one and a half inch because the two inch never came back in stock. And I feel like they're going to come back in stock in the summer, just like, you know, that time period where school supplies start being sold a lot. So I feel like that's when it's going to come back. By then, I it was too late to get a new binder. So this is the brand that I use. I get it from Walmart and they have them in many colors. The smallest is an inch, I think, or half an inch, but the biggest size is actually only two inches. So like if you're looking for anything bigger from three to four, this brand does not have those binders. So moving into Dimension Dilemma. I ended up finding the last group photo card that I needed. Um, I literally was looking at this on Instagram and I just didn't find any sellers. I found all the other ones. I found this version a lot in this one, but I could never find this photo card. I ended up finding a listing on Bai and decided to buy it because it was like only one to two dollars. So I am now finally complete with Dimension Dilemma. I have Sunu's complete set what I collected, the group set, and the pre-order benefits. Now I need to finish Manifesto era, which I have zero progress to be made. Anyway, so now we are moving on to the, their package. I can never pronounce it. I always feel like I butcher it, so I just don't say the name at all, but it's this for this year's. And I also ended up getting some new pages, as you can see, and I'm very happy because this is a good batch. It fits the Dragon Shield sleeves perfectly like it used to, like I don't need to cut them anymore. So I did end up pre-ordering mine, and then these are the photo cards, and I was also very lucky enough to pull Sunu. Um, and the reason why I say this is because I had this sitting in my Korean address for weeks because I just didn't want to ship just these two i wanted to wait for something else to arrive to then ship everything together and so i didn't even know there was a random card until i was just like unboxing them and looking at the photo cards and then another sun who appears and i'm like oh it's different i go to check and there's a random photo card so i was very lucky to actually get my bias without having to trade so i'm gonna go ahead and start putting the pre-order benefits in here And I'm actually gonna leave the middle spot. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the middle spot blank. I was like, why do I have them like this? Cause I know I made a specific order for it. And that's because this one is similar to the background color. And so I decided to just put him in here. Um, it's obviously different because this is like an ID and they're all in pajamas, but like the photo cards also are their pajamas and just the background of these are just completely lighter than the random photo card so i just decided this would be best as it fits in with background so that is it for the pre-order benefits now we're going to go into the regular photo cards also i still need to go like unbox this again because when i was opening it i didn't know that there was other inclusions inside the little pack i just saw that it was like sticker and postcards or something like that and i was like okay um these are just larger things but no there's actually like some smaller things that are also included in that that i might add into this binder now that i have like more space i can add a couple more inclusions in here so i might do that on my own time but this is the layout and these are the fillers that are going to go there and then i absolutely love this like i love the back of these photo cards i think these are by far one of my favorites and then we have the polaroids and they did the regular polaroids as they always do and then the colored ones which i thought was a very nice idea i used to do front and back did i want to do it for the first one okay so the first one had like a lot of polaroids and i did front and back to have like a spread the second one actually only had photo cards 
oh they had polaroids it just wasn't sized of a nine pocket okay so i didn't add them so for this one i'm just gonna add them regularly like this i'm not gonna do the front and back and because i started over there i'm gonna start over here And that is for the first one. And now for the colored ones, we're starting in the middle. And there we go. So those are all of the photo cards that I have for in hyphen. I will be trying to make some progress. I say this all the time and I actually never do it, but this time I will be going like more in depth and making some progress on manifesto because there's already rumors speculating that there's going to be a comeback um during the first or second quarter of the year we're practically already over the first quarter so second quarter or like you know by latest third quarter um so i need to step up my game because like now that i'm done with that i need to finish this before their comeback is announced. I know they're currently on tour, I believe so. So I got some time. I'm really not that far behind. Like I just haven't posted trades. So yeah, I'm gonna be stepping up my game with an hyphen and that is it. So now we're moving on to TXT. So now for my TXT binder, now that I have a hyphen binder, this layout is actually gonna go. At first I was like really, sad to let it go and i was like holding off and i didn't want to let it go but like after the temptation albums came out and just like the concepts i think i'm going to go with farewell version if i remember correctly it's like the outside garden fairy concept so i'm gonna be making a new layout of that one because i absolutely love it so hopefully by next video this layout is gonna be you know gone but it's not going to be gone. I'll probably just add it to the back of this binder or something. So we are jumping into actually the first page because I decided to do something. So if you guys have seen my videos, my layouts, every time I go over my TXT binder, this one is always right here. These two actually are up here. These two are down here. And there's a filler, I believe, here. Well, all of my TXT pages are... Well, all of my TXT pages are actually full pages. And I absolutely really, really love that. And I wanted the same thing here, but like their Target exclusives now aren't small. Um, I do have Yunjun's for a temptation, but it's like a regular eight pocket, I wanna say. It fits the eight pocket, but it doesn't fit nine pocket. So it's like, it can't go here with the rest of them. And then the other ones for the other eras are, I put them in here with the era that it correlates to so it just doesn't make sense because now it's not a group photo card as well so i wanted something that could go here that could fill up this page that still correlates to either um runaway or blue hour era and i figured out that weaver shop actually had a pre-order benefit of members it's clear i'm just gonna put it here so you guys could see and i managed to find it for a really decent price on buy actually all the members and also one thing that i noticed was it's not scratched up like I know how these are. These cards are fairly easy to scratch. I collect Kepler's OT9 and some of them have been through it. Some of them are good. Even when you pull it out of the albums, it's like scratched because of the other photo cards. So this one isn't actually scratched up a lot considering, you know, Blue Hour was released a while ago. And I'm very happy with that. So with this, this page is now full and complete. I'm obviously going to add a white filler to it like I did for this one. Um, I just haven't cut one out. Or actually, I might have one over here at the side. Oh, I do, and it fits perfectly. Okay, there we go. And with that, this page is now complete, and I am finished with that. And now we're moving into Temptation Era, in which, as you can see, I have some pages here. Now, I hosted a group order for this um, album, so I obviously already had Yeonjun's set secured because, like, I'm the gong. I get first priority. So this is his photo cards. Absolutely stunning and beautiful. Um, or actually, I might do Nightmare Concept. I'm stuck between these two. Um, I'm not really a fan of the Farewell Concepts because, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm actually not a fan of Beach Concepts. I just in general do not like the beach 
so I'm just not a big fan of those concepts. So the farewell concept is, it's all right. It's a nice concept and you know, they look great. I just am not a fan. I just have a thing against um, beaches. So it's not something that I always lean towards, you know, in concepts wise. So those were the photo cards that I bought for Yeonjun. And then I did buy the signed TXT albums and I ended up pulling Yeonjun, Subin, and Hyunin Kai which I was very lucky and these were my pulls for the signed albums. I ended up getting Subin twice and then Hyunin Kai. Um, for my Hyunin Kai album, I literally pulled an entire set of Hyunin Kai. Like he literally packed that album. I also noticed after watching a lot of other people's unboxing videos of their signed albums, my Hyunin Kai signature is literally covering the entire postcard. It's not a small signature like everyone else and I'm like, Am I the only one? Because I have not seen a single person that has had their postcard signed. I'm going to go get them. I'm going to go show you guys. I'm going to go get them. Okay, so here I have these signed ones. This is Yeonjun's. Um, I pulled it. There's a little bit of, you know, markings. But that's okay. And then this is Subin's, who was the second one. Yeonjun was actually the third one. It was like a nice surprise. I was manifesting that I pulled his signed. But like, the albums were arriving each day apart for some reason. And... Pulling Yeonjun on my last album was just an amazing feeling. I got Subin on my second one and like, look at my Hyunin Kai signature. It is literally covering. I have not seen a thing. Everyone else's is like this. Even Hyunin Kai's, I've seen it is small. First, when people pointed it out, I didn't think of it as a big deal because I was like, it didn't like, he just signed it the same for all of them. But like, I did not see a single other person have a signature like this big covering the postcard. Everyone else's is small. So yeah, these were my sound ones. I was very, very lucky to pull my bias, my bias record, and our lovely matinee. So that was the pulls for that. And then I did get the pre-order benefits. Now, I didn't buy two sets this time um, like I did for Thursday's Child. Where is it? So like I have OT5. For this era, I just bought one set and I accidentally put it on the wrong page. So we're going to move this one here. I just ended up buying one set because like, you know, there's just so many releases at the time and I just, you know, it was too much. But these were the pre-order benefits that I ended up keeping. I, of course, got Yeonjun's and then I kept Subin, which was my bias dagger because I really love that. And then I kept Terry's because, do you just see this? Like, it's beautiful, insanely, like he's insane. So these were the ones that I kept. And then we are moving on to the next page, which I have the Weavers albums. Now, I didn't know that it came with two photo cards. I thought it was only one photo card. So I bought two Weavers albums. So this was the first one. Um, and I got, of course, kept Yeonjun's set. And then I ended up buying another photo card, which I never do. I always only collect the Weavers Global Pops for a TXT, but this photo card was like just so beautiful. And the hollow is so, so beautiful. I decided to collect the Japan photo card as well. And can you see like that hollow? Like it is insanely beautiful. I don't think I'm going to ever go into collecting any other pre-order benefits besides Weavers Global, but like, you know, I just had to like... I had to so there is his weavers and like i said i did get two albums so i ended up keeping a subin set which is my bias record if i could collect two members of txt like if i could afford it well actually no let me change this if toy line wasn't so overpriced i would have collected these two and i would have had a bias line but i always say that yanjun will forever be my one bias because i just can't afford to collect like more members considering the fact that subin has been frequently in the community so overpriced i don't want to put myself into that so yeah and i actually ended up getting a third photo card inside my group order in one of the albums so i got hitting kai's this was a duplicate that was inside so i ended up keeping his and then these are the lullaby pre-order benefits why do i have them like this I'm trying to figure out why did I, I make this page like this. Oh, I think I did end up separating them. Okay, so I think I did the layout like this. Because, like, they just had the... This is the lullaby pre-order benefits. So I did this. And then here I have the rest of them. Which, lullaby version is super, super pretty. 
it's just so so beautiful and in one of my pre-orders for lullaby i actually ended up getting an extra subin so of course i put him in here and then we have the regular album photo cards for lullaby so this is the ot5 set and i just put it like this Okay, and yeah, that is what I have. Obviously, like I just talked at the beginning, for TXT, I like having full pages. I do have an extra Yeonjun lullaby album and his photo card, but I don't know if I want to put the two photo cards like this back to back or how would it look. I'll probably add something else in here. Maybe they have like another pre order benefit that just catches my eye or something. Um, like I said, the Target exclusive for this era is really large photo card so it just doesn't make sense to add it in here i don't even know where i put it either so yeah i'll see what i can do because i want to fill this page up all my other pages are filled up so it just makes sense to have something to fill up the page i just don't know if i want to add my extra photo card in there but that is it for temptation album so now we're moving on to their deco kit package they also just released the um memories so i will be getting that because it is random photo card <sighs> but trades 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 are just gonna be something else so we're over here actually because this is memories and how many sets do i have to add so i think i'm adding four pages okay so we're just gonna add the pages in here and then these are the pre-order benefits for the deco kit absolutely beautiful i love that they went with like you know showing the birthday concept so i'm going to add them hold on let me figure out how would i do this because this one would start right here so then this page would start right here okay i always love to change the layout because i've said this like a lot of times but changing the layout within your binder helps keeping your photo cards i actually messed this up didn't i that's supposed to go right here helps keep your binder more even if you still have like continuously the exact same layout and this doesn't go like if you have nine pocket pages that's fine um because all you know all spaces are filled up your binder is perfectly sitting um with no gaps in between but if you have a layout where it's always the same like this you might want to start changing up and like mixing around so like all pages are filled up because if you go like this and it sinks down on this one but not on this one you actually could end up damaging these photo cards in the middle as the weight is being pushed more to one side than the other side so i just always recommend to interchange your layouts so i'm gonna put this one right here and then you're going like this And then these were the regular photo cards for the deco kit. And then we have the Polaroids. Oh, actually the Polaroids are perfect nine photo cards. So I'm gonna take one page out. So now we're gonna add in the deco kit. And that will be all for TXT. I still have yet to pre-order the new um, DVD that they came out with. I think it's Memories. If I'm correct, it's Memories. It should be, it should be. I literally just checked and I was gonna buy it but I've been so busy with like Jim and Space album and group orders. I didn't buy it and then it sold out. The digital code sold out, but it's back in stock right now and I can buy both of them. I'm just gonna, you know, wait till next week. Hopefully they don't sell out because by then I'll have money to buy both of them without having, you know, to struggle to figure out what to do. Okay, so this is literally so beautiful. I love this so much. And I'm really glad that, you know, it fits perfectly. And yeah, that is it for TXT. I'll be adding fillers to these in my own time for now. This is how it looks. And I am going to... There's a photo card that should go here. I don't know where I put it. I don't even know which one it is. I have to go back and check. There's a photo card that should go... Actually, I think... I know where it is. I have it on my desk. It's a lucky draw for Hype Insight. So, like, the DVDs are gonna go, like behind these i'll probably i'm just gonna you know move the layout right now 
So like we have this one is season greetings, which they've actually stopped doing the random members. So I don't collect season greetings anymore. Um, I don't even use them at all. I would literally just buy it for the photo cards. But now I've like really thought about what I want to buy and what like I want to get. So I stopped collecting season greetings and... Thankfully, they're not doing the random anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. So this is the memories from last year, so then the new year, will, this upcoming one will go right here. And that is it for my TXT binder. We are moving on to the BTS ones now. Okay, so before I actually move on to my BTS photo cards, I did remember that my TNX albums finally arrived. I ended up pre-ordering them in January, but my K-Town For You order would just never ship. And the reason was because I added Ives Light Stick into that order and it was never in stock. So I had to wait until K-Town For You finally had the Light Stick to be able to ship my order. So I ended up pulling one Hui photo card, which I literally gasped because I don't really pull his photo card. I don't think I pulled any of my bias line for way up. So I'm very, very happy that I did pull it for the Love or Die albums. But actually, Love or Die is the title. Love Never Dies albums. And then this is my other photo card pull, which I will be putting him up for trade to one of my bias lines. And then, you know, I haven't even looked at templates to see what I'm missing. But hopefully I am not missing a lot of photo cards because... I still need to finish way up. So that is it for the boy group. And now we're moving on to the BTS one. So here I have the BTS um, A5 binder for the solos. But I have decided that I'm not going to add Jimin or Jungkook solos into this binder. I also am going to be buying some inclusion pages for these. Because since obviously there's not much to add, I want to fill up this binder. So I'm going to be buying, you know, those two pockets or pages i think it's two pockets and those one pocket pages so that i can add the postcards any stickers basically any inclusions that came inside their albums i'm going to be adding it onto here so i finally got the jack in the box lucky draws and stuff like that so this is the hype insight ones these are how they look he also does have a photo card for his documentary but i didn't buy the documentary because like there's certain cards that I want to collect for them and there's certain cards that I'm not going to go into collecting but I feel like I will figure out what I want to buy. Maybe I'll buy that photo card or not because I think it's photo card size. I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't looked into it. I just remember seeing like a glimpse of it online and if it's photo card size, I'll try to see if I can find it at an affordable price because it was like a gift if you bought it and just, you know, fill up this page. Um, and that is all I have for Jack in the Box. I still need to figure out what to do for the cover because he obviously did not have an album, which means I don't have anything to use unless I print it out. But copy paper just isn't the best for making, you know, collages. At least for me personally, I don't think it's the best. But if it comes down to it, I might have to just, you know, use copy paper and just print out my favorite pictures of his weaver's album online moving on to astronaut i have jen's complete set like i literally mean like complete the pages are filled up but i decided to buy his usa photo card and now it just looks weird because it's just one photo card in this page and he doesn't have a vinyl he does have lucky draws but i don't really want to go into collecting lucky draws but like you know if this page needs to be filled up with something, so I'm thinking of adding these into it. But one thing that I noticed is I could only do two of them. That is photo card size, and there's four. So there would be like, you know, one left out. I don't know if I want to do that yet. I might. I know for sure I want to add these, but I just don't know, know what I want to add to fill up these three spots. So that is it for... Um, the astronaut Jin, and I'm moving on to Indigo for Namjoon. I will be creating a fuller. I just need to buy another album because I haven't. I only bought one. I need to buy another one to make a collage. And then these are the photo cards for his album. And then this is the Weaver's Global Pre Order Benefit. I didn't pre order any of Namjoon's album. The time of release of his album, I just was not prepared at all to 
buy anything so i actually had to hold off on this album i think i ended up buying like two weeks after his release like that's how behind i was to getting it so i obviously did not get any global pre-order benefits with it so this I had to buy it off someone, but someone was really nice and sold it to me for a really affordable price. And it also came along with one of his other photo cards. I think it came with his eye or his hand photo card. I can't remember. Or maybe it was that one. But this, I put it like this because, you know, obviously the color scheme matches. And then they, he does have a USA shop one, which one of my friends has, but she's actually trying to sell it as a set. But, you know, like it doesn't benefit me to buy the set considering that i already have the global shop pop so if she does decide to sell individually um i'll get the usa but if not i'll have to find someone else but either way like this page is filled up already so i don't know what else to do oh actually i do know because i did pre-order his vinyl so his vinyl does come with the photo card as well so these are the weavers albums this is a little inclusion that he had it's photo card size and it matches so i was like why not and then this is the weavers not weavers japan fan club but he does have the ums for some reason the ums is like ridiculously expensive it literally starts at 40 actually no it starts at 60 70 80 goes up to a hundred dollars his ums shop so i don't think i'm ever gonna get that one so if i do have you know the usa and then the vinyl i'm gonna have two empty spaces i don't think i'm ever gonna get that ums so i don't know what else to add to fill up but i do want to fill up you know the photo card pages so that is it for their solos and now we're moving on to the album binder for the photo cards okay moving on to the album photo cards this is where i decided to add jimin's photo cards um i would usually add them on the back but i did want to have his solo because like it's a jimin solo i know i'm being completely biased but it's jimin literally my first ever k-pop bias the first person who got me into k-pop so i obviously wanted to put him and i was going to go all out for him so here is the photo cards he does have broadcast I don't think I'm gonna be buying those because they're literally starting at $350. So I'm gonna hope that, you know, in time the prices will go down and I can secure the broadcast. He also has some Japan Lucky Jaws, but again, those are not actual Lucky Jaws that you can buy from Japan. Those are winner raffle Lucky Jaws. So, like, if you're one of the lucky chosen ones, you get one. I don't think I'm going to go into getting those as well because those are expensive, but they do go down in price. Um, the proof ones have started going down. I've seen Jungkook go as low as to what I paid for him. So before this price is skyrocket, so I'm just going to hold off on those, but everything else I'm going to try to secure so let me get his photo cards so these are all his photo cards i ended up buying his album from wherever i could except the target ones i haven't bought the target because it's a postcard for exclusive so i still don't ever want to collect the postcard but we have the invisible face set which jimin literally blessing us with the photo cards because he gives us a complete set of photo cards an entire complete set so i'm very very grateful to him and then there's only one random one so this is a set and I think, I can't remember which way, but oh, also I don't have my dragon shield sleeves. I ran out of them, so I will be going back in later when they arrive. I have already ordered some more to double sleeve this, but for now they're just in a sleeve kings. So that's the invisible face set. Then we have the undefinable face set that will go right here which is the sun. At first, when the previews and the concepts were released, I said that this concept was one of my faves, but when the actual photo book came out, I think my favorite concept changed to Invisible Face. He just looks, he lo looks amazing on both of them, don't get me wrong, but just for some reason, this concept just like appealed more to me than the darker one. And at first, the darker one was my favorite. And maybe it's just because like, I don't know what it is but he looks good on both of them and yeah so this is my favorite concept um i do want to do something with this concept but i don't know yet what to do i'm obviously not gonna make a new cover because i like this cover and jungkook hasn't released his solo yet to even you know add it into that but yeah and then we have the random photo cards here which i was actually very lucky to complete 
unintentionally because I, like I said, I ordered from wherever I could. So I ordered my album from Weavers USA and I did end up getting one postcard. It's still available for the exclusive, so I might buy another one for the second postcard if I really want to go into collecting those. But it's not really a big necessity for me to collect postcards considering their inclusions and I don't add any inclusions to this binder. So I still don't know about that yet. I might add the inclusions into the, um, oh, I could add them to the A5 binder. Yeah, I could add those to the A5 binder. And then I did also pre-order a set from UMS to get the photo card. I actually ordered it through Bai. I figured out how to do it. I was literally spending, clicking whatever, figuring out how to create an order form with Bai so they could buy it for me. And I ended up pulling the two missing photo cards that I needed and obviously his UMS photo card. So we are now back to this one and like i said there's the weavers versions there's the early bird the weavers pc exclusive which literally so unnecessary like why the album had already released the album released like it was literally on release day and we were like oh if you buy it now up until now we'll give you another photo card of course i got it because you know it's jimin and it's photo card and then we have the random ones and then the template that I was using to create this had a QR code, but I've been seeing some unboxings with a QR code thing is kind of like a postcard sized, so I don't think it's going to fit in the nine pocket. So um, for now, actually not for now, for depending if it fits, I don't have my Weavers albums with me yet. I'm going to add the UMS shop right here, and then I have the Japan fan clubs as well. So that is it. And then we obviously have the lucky draws. I did decide to host a group order for this, so I already have his lucky draws confirmed. I have all of these confirmed. I just need to, you know, to secure these in if my Gomen does a sorting form. So with that, it's it for Jimin, and I obviously love how it looks whenever i open the binder i see just jimin and i love that and it's like it's just amazing like his solo is just completely amazing moving on to proof i'm actually in here i forgot that i had this lucky draw this is the hive insight on the way and it does not match at all with this based on the color because you know it's obviously more bluish but it does fit the concept because it's still the same outfit and you know it's the same overall concept it's just blue but i decided to add it there so i could fill up this page and leave that one filler there and then for this one i do have his drawing card but it's supposed to be like this but because the back is a group photo card and it's the exact same concept as this i decided to do it like this and with that these pages and for proof i am officially done adding that i am completely done with bts's albums until they come back as a group i think they said it was like in 2025 so no need no changes here um, I don't need to stress myself to, you know, getting some more photo cards now. All I need to do now is focus on their solos. So that's it for this binder. I will be receiving these when my Dragon Shield series arrives. So now we're moving on to the next BTS binder. Okay, so this is my BTS miscellaneous binder where I have like random photo cards things. I literally forgot this binder existed. And I would always say, oh, my photo cards are lying around somewhere in my room. It was a lie they were always in here so we are moving on to the membership photo cards first okay so these are the membership photo cards for this year actually last year is it this year i really can't remember i think it is this year last year's was a different size so it just did not make sense to add it into the binder um they were more like I can't even say there were six pockets because I bought some six pocket pages, but they don't even fit in that. So I think they were more like four pocket, but I just didn't think it would be like it looked good adding them into um, this binder. So I just have not added them at all. And I think I'm going to leave them back in the regular membership case because they're probably lying around somewhere. So this is it for that. And then we do have the merch boxes in which i have these so this is the one that came with the clock i think it was merch box nine 
And then this is the one that came, actually these are together. And then this is the one that came with the um, snow globe, which I think is merch box 10. And then there is merch box 11, which is a carousel, but that one hasn't shipped out yet. So I'm not gonna be adding it. I'm just gonna go adding them like this. And for the merch boxes, I always do front and back. So I'm gonna add the other ones in here as well. So then if I add these, they should go this way. So then we have suction. Okay, and then perfect. So that is how the photo cards looks. And moving on to regular photo card sized items, I think I'm gonna move these things to the back because it could actually end up damaging these. Actually, I'm gonna do it now. So I can keep this all together. This binder is literally filled with just random inclusions. Actually, I'm gonna move it to the front. Okay, there we go. That way the pages, all of these are about the same size. So like nothing is gonna end up getting bent. And then we are gonna move on to regular photo card things, which are back here, just randomly in the middle. And I do have the new Japan fan club magazine, the lottery magazine photo card. These are absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see, but there's little stickers on his face and I, I wasn't gonna collect these anymore, but I couldn't pass up on it. I'm gonna add it in here. I don't know if I'm gonna collect the third one of this photo card because these are like the boxes. I don't think I'm gonna be going into collecting these random boxes from Japan, but if they do more of these like photo card size, I will do try to collect them. They don't go for that much. And the prices literally start going down within a couple of weeks. So we're done with that. And then the T-Money cards in which I do have his proof one. It is a little holographic. I don't know if you can see it, if the light can reflect on it, but this is absolutely beautiful. And this is how it looks. So with that, I'm also done with his T-Money photo cards that correlate to the album releases. And that is it for this binder. So now we're just gonna move on to one, two more BTS binders. I'm gonna move on to the tour one that contains the Dalma Jung merch and you know, um, tour exclusive photo cards and then i'm gonna move on to the photo folio one okay so on to the tour binder i just have a couple just a few photo cards to add actually because we're almost done um they did have a yet to come movie i think certain locations certain countries were giving photo cards so this is the photo card that you got if you went to the cinema to watch the movie so with this i am done I'm not done with everything because you know there's still some photo cards but i really don't want to go into collecting these a lot as well because they're really overpriced and i'm just like really thinking what i want to collect and what i don't want to collect so i'm done with this page until i figure out what to do with that but this is the layout and then we are jumping into the oh these photo cards so for yet to come they didn't do any like member photo cards for many tour photo cards but they did still release a set of photo cards so i'm just gonna add it here but i think i'm actually gonna end up moving this page all the way to the back because it technically does still correlate with concerts and tours so um i'm going to have this and that will end the photo cards for tour Actually, I'm going to rearrange this because I just realized that these photo cards are not horizontal, so I can actually arrange them differently. The photo cards are horizontally. I meant vertically, that the photo cards aren't vertical. <laughs> I'm literally all over the place right now. Okay, and that is actually it all for that and then we are moving on to the Dalma Jong merch in which I have made some progress but like not really 
as um just these photo cards are really hard to trade for some reason so yeah i did find someone who was selling the last jimin photo card that i was missing which was his special eight out of those and then this is which one is this is number two so i'm just missing number one and i'm done with jimin's set as for jungkook's i have his six so i'm done with his entire mini photo card set but i'm still needing to find the two special cards i have seen one of my local k-pop stores have the damajang sets available but they're 17 dollars for a pack like do i really want to spend 17 dollars on just you know a little pack to try my hope in pulling these two pulling one actually let me say that because it's i think the pack only gives you one special card so i'm just like do i really want to do that but i might just try to look on bungjun or mercari japan and see if anyone's selling it um i don't know if there's any fakes around for these yet i think there probably is because usually with bts it doesn't take long you know for scammers to start creating fakes and then putting them up for sale so i also have to be like very careful with buying mini photo cards but that is it for the tour binder now i'm moving on to the last binder and we'll officially be done with this video finally we're off to the last binder and we are jumping into the photo folios because that is all i have to add in which I did receive already Hobies. I actually do already have Yungis. I just haven't unboxed or sorted that group order yet. So I'm not going to be adding his photo cards until, you know, the next sorting photo card. And I also have Taze. So for Hobie, this photo card, this one right here screamed to me. Automatically my favorite. I had to have it. Um, he did have one with long hair, purple long hair that does match, you know, the outside theme that I was doing with the members. But i had to like i could not pass up on this so this is his random how am i doing this okay this is the regular photo card and then this is his random photo card which doesn't actually fit in these sleeves so let me remove these and i'll go back and add the smaller dragon shield that does fit and that is it for um, Hobies. So now for Taehyung's, I did say that this blue one was the one that really, really spoke to me. So this is the regular photo card that you get in all of the photo folios. And then this is the random. And once I add Yoongi's, I'll officially be done with the photo folios, which is, you know, great. But I'm kind of feeling bittersweet about it right now because last night Weavers announced that if you buy a set, like, you know, they announced the box set. So after making us suffer every birthday month, saying, okay, here's the portfolio, order it now, order it now, order it now. After making us do that, and then, you know, giving us the BTS one, including the pre-order benefit box, they now came out with, if you buy the set, we give you an acrylic stand, an acrylic case, let me correct myself, an acrylic case, like what was the point of making us go like i get that they're money hungry right now because bts is just like not active as a group anymore so like a lot of people aren't buying merch but like it was completely pointless of them to add another pre-order benefit on top of that after majority of armies paid for each portfolio individually but you know it's hype and weaver so i'm actually not surprised i kind of had a feeling that they were gonna do an ot7 plus the group so in an eight set i had a feeling that they were going to do that at the end i just didn't know that they were going to throw an acrylic case and pre-order benefits to it i'm not going to go into buying that one but like you know it's bittersweet because i worked so hard to host a group order for all of these and then they're at the end they're like here you go um so that is all i have for this video hopefully the video isn't that long and i didn't um bore you guys throughout the video but thank you so much for watching if you made it this far i hope you guys all enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe if you have any questions regarding anything feel free to comment it in the comments i will be looking at them and answering them um all my supplies that i use are linked in the description box below and yeah i hope everyone has an amazing day so i'ma let the sun cry